Hello, I'm Dr. Stephen Scavelli, and this is End Time Revival Ministries. My very special guest for the show is Dr. Wright. Dr. Wright is a pastor and a lecturer at Under the Blood Church in Ybor City. Dr. Wright, thank you so much for being on the show. Thanks for having me. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Dr. Wright, tonight's topic will be on why Jesus is the only way into heaven as we will compare different religions and their methods for salvation. Right. Dr. Wright, there seems to be a very strong deceiving uh, spirit that is going around the world where many people, many creeds believe that there are many ways into heaven. Mm -hmm. Now before we start speaking on true salvation, I want to give a brief account of how false religions started. Right. Now, we have to go back to the Andalusian age. Now, now God pronounced a judgment upon the world through the flood, right. as you know. Now we have Noah. Noah survived in the flood, and he, it was Noah, his wife, the three uh, brother, uh, sons, and mm -hmm. the three daughters, and that was it. There was no one else on the boat. Now, the boat land is somewhere in Turkey. Now, this is where the population started to regrow in, in this area. And, and actually, uh, some, some historians believe uh, um, Iraq, right. which I, I believe also. Now, the Lord gave a command to Noah to uh, repopulate the world, and they started to repopulate the world. Now, in the course of time, sons and daughters were born to them, and in the course of time, Nimrod was born. Now, Nimrod, Nimrod was a great grandson of Noah. He fell away from the Lord, and he built a tower. It's called the Tower of Babel. Actually, it's in, uh, it's in Iraq. Mm -hmm. Now, it's interesting to know that Nimrod's name means rebel, and also it could be traced back to Satan, mm -hmm. of course. Now. The Lord saw what the people were doing, so scripture sta uh, states this, let us go down and see. Now the Lord saw that they were building this t uh, tower. Actually the tower was built in protest of what the Lord did. Um, he, uh, he flooded the world, he killed their fathers, and uh, Nimrod actually rebelled against the Lord. Now the Lord, what he did, he confounded the, the language. Mm -hmm. Now, now the Lord scatters uh, the people. Right. Now each group of people went with their language, the uh, language. Now, the Tower of Babel also is very interesting because this is where a lot of false religion and different religions started. And now, now we have a problem. Uh, the Lord could not destroy the world again with water, so the people were scattered abroad. Now, in the course of time, now we have Abram. Abram was, uh, was called by God. And actually, if you uh, search out the scripture, they were actually into making idols, and I think that's how they made their living. And in the course of time, Isaac and Jacob uh, were born, and then they went into Egypt. Now, when they entered Egypt, they were there for 400 years. Now a deliverer came. His name was Moses. Mm -hmm. He was a type and shadow of the Lord Jesus. Now there was an exodus from Egypt, and then they went to Mount Sinai, and this is where the law was given to them. Now, under the law, they had to uh, make animal sacrifices. Right. They had to obey the law, and they had to uh, take part in different God-ordained feasts, mm -hmm. uh, different feasts throughout the world. Now, what is interesting, Dr. Wright, um, at this time, what I found interesting was um, you had the rise of Baal, or Baal. Baal. You had the rise of, of Dagon. You had the rise of Malak. Now, what is interesting in these false uh, faiths, right? They they required blood. They required blood for their false god. Right. So now, as uh, time progresses, and you have different um, 
different faiths being uh, uh, produced, mm -hmm. like Buddhism, Hinduism, you know, New Age, Scientology, is very interesting, but now there's like a there's like a switch. Right. There's like a switch where there's really not blood involved except Judaism because they were under law to sacrifice animals and uh, the blood of animals was a temporary covering. It was a type and shadow of Jesus, what he would do at the cross for us. Right. Now, the first faith I want to speak upon is Buddhism. Okay. Now, it is interesting. I have some notes over here. Uh, Buddha uh, himself did not believe in the, in the existence of God. Right. Others speak of Buddha as a universal enlightened consciousness or as a God. Now, uh, how does Jesus uh, um, how does Jesus fit into this worldview? Uh, Jesus Christ is not part of this uh, historical uh, Buddhist worldwide view. Uh, Buddhists in the West totally generally view Jesus as an enlightened teacher. Right. And uh, in Asia, Jesus is considered an avatar. Now, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is not part of this belief. Buddhists do not believe uh, in spirits, well they do believe in spirits, and some practice deity yoga and invite spirit possession, which if you read the law, uh, we are not to entertain spirits, spirits right. under, under the law, and uh, their salvation, their goal in life is to achieve something called nirvana. Mm -hmm. Now nirvana is to eliminate all desires or cravings in in um, this way, escape suffering, uh, but um, this whole doctrine right here just does not uh, add up scripturally. Now, what can you what can you tell me about what I just read to you right now, and compare it to the Word of God, compare it to uh, what Jesus commanded us? Well, I'm glad you asked me that <laughs> question, and I and I wrote some notes here, and sure. I typed some notes up here. Yeah. Religions as a whole provides a platform to the people mm. uh, to consider their relations or their relationship to God mm. and supernatural elements. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, several elements that we may look at, um, something that you already covered is mm -hmm. a sacred sacred element, mm. divinity and supernaturalism, yeah. uh, holy, godly, etc. Uh, came across when you look into and you study these different religions, sure. such as we're looking at on today. Uh, religion is such a diverse and opinionated term, Dr. Sure. Scavetta, when you're talking about looking at different sure. religions, sure. Um, which more or less talks about faith and the belief system of people. Yeah. You're talking about Christianity versus um, Buddhism. Yeah. And the Bible makes it clear, sure. Philippians 2 and 10, mm. which is one of my favorite scriptures, that eradicates and trumps all other religions. Mm. It says that at the name of Jesus, sure. every knee must bow the things in heaven and the things that are in earth and the things under the earth. That says yeah. that no matter what religion you are, yeah. Who you are, whatever yeah. you believe, sure. it's only one name. Yeah. That name trumps every name. Very well said, uh, Dr. Wright. Now, even though these uh, folks are in a faith, mm -hmm. it is not the true faith. Right. It is not him who is righteous and pure. Now, now a lot of these faiths, now we're going to talk about Hinduism, it seems that a lot of the teaching is a self-righteous type uh, teaching and mm -hmm. not his righteousness. Right. Now I'm going to talk about Hinduism. Uh, God. They say that God, um, the absolute, uh, a, uni a universal spirit. They say everyone is part of God and they call him Brahma, mm -hmm. like drops in the sea, but most people are not aware of it. People worship manifestations of Brahma, gods and goddesses. 
Now, where does Jesus play in Hinduism? They, they look at Jesus Christ as a teacher, mm -hmm. or a guru, or an avatar, or an incarnation of Vishnu. He, he, is a son, he is a son of God, as others are. His death does not atone for sins, and he did not raise from the dead. That's a pretty powerful statement in their faith right there. Right. Now the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is not a part of their belief. Now, salvation. Uh, they are, they, it, there is a release from cycles of reincarnation achieved through yoga and meditation can take many lifetimes. Uh, final salvation is uh, absorption or union with Brahma. What can you tell me about this right here, this faith? Well, when you're looking at the Hinduism mm -hmm. uh, faith and you're looking at what they believe as far as uh, Brahma, mm. Hindu followers mm. uh, are taught to follow four ways to obtain uh, moksha, which is revelation, uh -huh. uh, which are through Gaina, which is knowledge, sure. karma, yeah. which we say uh, believe in karma, like you believe in karma. I don't believe in karma, but yeah. karma, right. uh, which is ultimately action. Yeah. And then uh, Bengtai, which is devotion, mm -hmm. uh, their devotion to their God, and to Raja, which you talked about meditation, a yeah. uh, form of yoga. Yeah. Um, they rest their thought more upon the ideas of polytheism. Okay. Um, okay. and pantheism, which they believe that all of the elements and those four things that I just talked about yeah. have gods within different forms of themselves. Sure. We only believe mm. the one true and living God. Sure. Uh, but scholars and, and theologians, mm -hmm. um, from what I've studied, they still are and they still hooked with the idea of one main God, Brahma. Yeah which tags Hinduism as the monotheistic religion okay. as well. Now, it, it seems like, I mean, it's gonna sound silly, but this is like a um, man-made religion. Mm -hmm. And uh, there, it, it is a, um, it's self-righteousness. It is not what the Word of God says to uh, go after the righteousness of the Lord. I don't see any any place in here where uh, we live under grace. Right. We have mercy. Uh, I don't see anywhere in here where they mention the blood of mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. I don't see anywhere in here where they mention uh, grace. I don't see any. I I see everything here as a work. Right. A a, a work to achieve. Um, I guess another level, right? Or, or, or you know, I don't want to say nirvana, but you know, their nirvana, you know, right. to to reach a perfection, right? You know, so I I I see both these faiths that are just man-made tradition, and uh, you know, I don't see any place in here where they can truly be washed by the blood of Jesus. Now. Judaism. Mm -hmm. This is very interesting. Now, um, now God. They say God is a spirit. Now, to the Orthodox Jew, God is personal, all-powerful, eternal, compassionate. Now, it's interesting to other Jews, God is impersonable, unknowledgeable, and defined in numbers of ways. They do not believe in the Trinity. Now, when I talked about Babel, it's interesting that the scripture records, let us go down and see what they have done, proving right there that uh, there is a trinity. Now, Jesus, how does Jesus fit in Judaism? Jesus is seen, neither as, is, uh, seen either as an extremist false messiah or a good but martyred Jewish rabbi, teacher. Uh, many Jews do not consider Jesus at all. Uh, Jews, except Messianic Jews, uh, do not believe he was Messiah, Son of God, or that he rose from the dead. Orthodox Jews believe that Messiah will restore the Jewish kingdom and eventually rule the earth. Uh, 
Now, the Holy Spirit. Some believe the Holy Spirit is another name for God's activity on earth. Others say it is God's love or power. Mm -hmm. Now, salvation. Some Jews believe that prayer, repentance, and obeying the law are necessary for salvation. Others believe that salvation is improvement of society. Now, now we, we get Christianity from the Judeo faith because, you know, all scripture, Jesus said all scripture has to be fulfilled. Je Jesus, mm -hmm. was, Jesus was prophesied in scripture uh, hundreds of years before he came. Right. Uh, he, fulfilled, he fulfilled all prophecy concerning him. Uh, he, he died on the cross. Now, I want you to speak on the cross because I believe the cross is very important here. Right. Okay. Um, because, you know, when Jesus died, that's when everything changed. You know, right. the, the curtain, the curtain was ripped. The curtain was like 60 feet tall. It was very thick and it ripped from top to oh, bottom. It just, right. God ripped it and he, um, he said, look, you don't have to go behind the curtain. You can come to me now. Right. Go ahead, Dr. Wright. Well, in, in relation to uh, Christianity mm. and, and, and where we are with that and Christianity sharing its roots with Judaism, yeah. uh, Christianity began with the life and the teaching of Jesus Christ. Sure. Um, as described in the New Testament of the Bible. Uh, but also, Dr. Scavelli, Christianity is also uh, said to be the largest of the largely followed religions by more than 2.2 billion people. Wow. Uh, it's also the monotheistic religion. Sure. With the existence of only one God. Sure. Uh, Jesus Christ is considered, as we know, to be fully divine. Yes. And the Son of God, the yes. Messiah, yeah. and the Old Testament of the Bible. Uh, you're talking about Judaism and the parallel. It started as a Jewish sect okay. in the middle of the first, uh, the first century, originating, as you made reference, uh, to the Middle East, mm -hmm. which quickly spread towards Syria, the Mesopotamia, Egypt, along with colonization and missionary works that helped to shape Christianity throughout the world, yeah. where we are now. Um, besides monotheism, okay. uh, it is lived the idea of the Holy Trinity as well in which three different elements are included in one God. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Yes. Uh, I highly believe, and, and, and my belief is in the original sin and getting rid of the sin that gives us the true salvation. Okay. All right. Uh, the only way a person can be cleansed mm, mm. and their soul can be cleansed from sin is to accept mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, the death of the cross, mm -hmm. the atonement for his sin, uh. to accept Christ yes. as grace and cure for our sin, yes. and then to get forgiveness yes. and get baptized. Yes. That's the only way. Yeah. That's the only way. And, and, and the blood. And the blood. The, the, the blood. atoning. Yeah, the, the, uh, the atoning blood, the finished work of the cross is, a, is very important. Right. Uh, in Judaism, of course, they live by the law. They had right. to make animal sacrifices on the day of uh, uh, atonement. But in Hinduism now uh, and, and Buddhism, we recognize that there's no blood. No blood. There's there's no blood. Um, Watch it. You're working up on something. You're working <laughs> up on something. The blood still has power. <laughs> because there's power. There's power. There's power in the blood. In the blood. Now, keep in mind, we're not trying to to hurt anybody. We are we are commanded by the word of God to speak the truth. Right. We are commanded to tell you. Look, if you're worshiping, uh, if you're in these uh, faiths, hey, that's your free will. But right. we are telling you right now that Jesus Christ is the only way, the only way into heaven by the cross, by the finished work of the cross, by the blood. Now, we're going to talk about 
There's something very interesting, uh, New Age. Okay. I don't know if you have any notes on New Age, but uh, New Age. This is interesting. Again, in New Age, mm -hmm. I do not see any type of um, blood. Right. You know, we just we just uh, discussed that Jesus, the only way is, is through the, the cross. Now, uh, in New Age, they say this, everything and everyone is God, okay? God is in personal force or a principle, not a person. People have unlimited inner power and need to uh, discover it. Well, that sounds like a, <laughs> <coughs> that sounds like a uh, self-righteous uh, doctrine. Right. Uh, right now, I mean, uh, we are created, Dr. Wright, in the image of God. God breathed life into us, you know what I mean? We were designed to have fellowship with the Lord Jesus. Right. Uh, now, Jesus. This is, uh, Jesus is not the one true God. He is not a savior, but a spiritual model, a guru. And now they call him an ascended master. Uh, he was a new ager who tapped into divine power in the same way that anyone can. Of course you can tap into a power, but that power is the power of the Holy Spirit. That's right. And in order to uh, receive uh, authority, okay, you have to be born again. You know, uh, this is the whole reason why uh, the, the Bible is a covenant Bible, okay? The, 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 Lord, the Lord said, you know, uh, I'm going to come. I'm going to die for mankind. Okay, he gives you a free will. You either accept me or you don't. But if you do not accept him, okay, as stated many times in our uh, shows, there's only two places to go. Yeah. Okay? There's heaven with the Lord Jesus. And of course, there is hell. Absolutely. Now, they say for salvation, uh, they need to offset bad karma with good karma. They can tap into a supernatural power through meditation, self-awareness, and spirit guides, which actually, um, just about all of this mentioned right here is actually, if, if you look in uh, under the law, Right, it is it is illegal. Right. God says not to traffic, you know, with spirits. Right. God says to God. I think God only says to meditate on the Word of God. You know what I mean? Only. And uh, what are your thoughts on this, sir? New Age. I put a few things in my notes. Okay. Uh, it became popular in the seventies. Okay. Um, as a reaction against what some perceived as failure of Christianity. Okay. Um, and the failure of the secular uh, humanism to yeah. provide spiritual, as you said, ethical guidance for future. New Age uh, roots are traceable back to many sources. Yes. Astrology. Sure. Hinduism. Sure. Gnostic traditions, mm -hmm. spiritualism, mm -hmm. Taoism, mm -hmm. Wicca, yeah. neo-pagan traditions, and sure. so on and sure. so on. Sure. The movement started early in the 60s. Yes. However, uh, one thing that you talked about, about the new age, uh, they're in a class all by themselves. Yeah. Uh, unlike most formal religions, which we're discussing, it has no holy text at all. Yes. Uh, it's central organization, yeah. formal membership, ordained clergy, yeah. Yeah. geographic center. They, 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 they have none of that. Yeah. Uh, no creed, no dogma. Sure. It's all what they believe. Yeah. Uh, as you said, it's it's all uh, men driven. Yeah. Uh, heterogeneous driven. Yes. The new age, in fact, as you mentioned, is free flowing. Yeah. It's decentralized. The yes. spiritual movement, a network of believers and practitioners. Okay. Who share somewhat. Yeah. The same beliefs and practices which many add to whichever form of religion they choose to follow. Yes. That's not us as Christians. Yes. That's absolutely 
not us as Christians. Uh, you talked about the comparison of salvation, uh, what they believe in this new age. Um, I believe what the Bible says. Sure. I, I believe what the Bible says about us uh, being saved and says yeah. that, uh, you know, that our sin has separated yeah. us from God sure. as a consequence, Romans 6, 23. Yeah. But however, salvation refers to our deliverance from the consequence of sin, yeah. therefore involves the removal of sin. Yeah. They don't have that. Yes. They don't have that. Yes. There's not even mention of, uh, there's not even mention of the blood. Nothing. There's not mention of the uh, the Holy Spirit. No Holy Spirit. No no context. No Bible. Nothing yeah. to relate to it. Just self-driven sure. philosophies and ideologies they they have come up with. Sure. Um, you know they talk about Jesus as a spiritual model, a, a guru, uh, an ascended master. You know uh, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is King. He is. You know. Uh, you know the thing is, um, you as an individual have to find out for yourself. Yes. You know, you you can hear this word, you know. <laughs> you got to understand one day you're going to die. Dr. Wright and I are going to die one day, but we we know where we're going. Yes. You know, we're born again. We ask Jesus into our heart. We're washed by the blood of Jesus. And we are trying to tell you that this is the way there is no other way no other way there is no other way i have to be quick now that's right now Isla the yard. islam now there the, 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 it's called the five pillars of faith they have to pray five times a day travel to mecca at least one time in their life fasting during usually ramadan uh give money to the poor and re, uh, the recitation there is no other god but allah and muhammad the prophet of allah now another interesting thing, uh, these type of believers, if uh, a, a jihad is called, mm -hmm. a, a jihad is uh, basically a call of duty for their believers to e, um, engage in a holy war against all who speak against Allah. You know, it, it's it's uh, it's sad be, uh, because this has been going on a very long time, and uh, you know the um, the Arabic people are actually cousins to uh, the Jews. You know. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to you have to seek for yourself. You know, you have to ask and 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 go to him. Find out for yourself. You know, find out the truth. Aren't you dying to know the truth? Don't you want to hear your prayers answered? And his name is Jesus, because I know you guys consider Jesus as a prophet, but we're here to tell you that Jesus is Lord. He is Lord. Now. If you're there right now, I want you to search your heart. Yes. And just say this prayer. Say, Jesus, come into my heart. Come into my heart. I believe you are Lord. I accept you as Lord. Yes, God. Change me and use me and let me never be the same again. If you said that prayer, give us a call. Dr. Wright, thank you so much for being thank on the you. show. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, tune in next time on Dr. Scavelli, the Zen Time Revival Ministries.